Hello everyone, welcome to the Crystally Recapped channel. And now you're going to hear a short recap of the movie Virgin Territory. At the beginning of the film, Tindaro tells us that he used to be a thief, but he could have easily been hanged or disgraced for it, so he decided to become an artist. He likes to paint animals, nuns, and angels, but soon everything changed, and the plague came to Italy. He tells the story of Lorenzo, who lost at cards to Gerbino and ran away from him. He wants to catch him, but Lorenzo runs away from him and says that he will not catch him. Lorenzo is in love with Pampinea. She is rich, but not spoiled, just a discerning girl. Lorenzo is met by his friends who tell him that his house is surrounded by the Gerbino. After that, Lorenzo leaves the city. Tindaro learns that his priest has fallen into an eternal sleep and realizes that he will not receive any money. He begins to hear voices in his head all the time, and he gets the idea to become a priest because they have taken everything for themselves, money, power, and most importantly, beautiful nuns. Later they show Gerbino. Tindaro says that he looks like a stallion, but there are rumors that his sword in his pants has long since rusted. Pampanea's parents have died, and she is forced to marry the Russian Count Zerzhinsky. Gerbino says that before death, her father consented to his marriage to Pampanea. Later, Lorenzo rides away on horseback from Gerbino's guards. He meets a worker, and the worker tells him that he is carrying a body from a monastery called the Bleeding Heart. He says that the main secret of this gardener was that he was deaf and dumb. Lorenzo hides in a tree from the bandits, but then falls and loses consciousness. Three nuns find him. They call him an angel sent from heaven. Then they bring him to the monastery. They discuss him and admire him, saying how beautiful his lips and hair are. One of the nuns offers to undress him to see if he has any wounds. She lifts up his shirt and kisses his stomach and then offers a kiss on the lips. Lorenzo notices all this but remains silent. When their mother arrives, they assume he is deaf and dumb, and she is happy that they will have a new gardener. She suggests sending him to the bathhouse. The nuns enter Lorenzo's room and make love. Later, Pampania invites her friends to her wedding. Philomena boasts of her innocence, and Alyssa says that not everyone here is as innocent as she thinks. They say that Pampanea is in love with Lorenzo, and Gerbino hears this. He threatens his friends, and Tindaro hears it. He hears the voices again and asks Gerbino to leave the holy place. The latter wants to punish him for his rudeness, but Tindaro asks him when he last confessed. Tindaro is shocked by what he hears and decides to become a priest. Philomena finds a carriage to take them to the wedding. Elisa asks who it is, and Philomena replies that it is her uncle Bruno. He is stupid, but most importantly, he is still innocent. Bruno says that he is guarding himself like the apple of his eye. At this point, Elisa says that Tindaro will be their priest. Then they show Pampinea, who has arrived at the monastery to save herself, but does not yet know who she is among. At this point, Count Zerzinski arrives. He introduces himself to Gerbino and considers him Pampinea's father. Gerbino rudely greets him and says that he is Pampinea's future husband. They threaten each other, and the Count is forced to leave the castle. He is met by the pastor, who informs him that Pampinea is waiting for him at a country villa and hands him a letter from her. Two nuns come to Lorenzo and ask him to give them what he gave to the other nuns. They begin to undress, and Lorenzo nods happily. At this time, Tindaro leaves with Bruno. He says that he often spoils the air, and Philomena constantly praises him for his cleanliness and she starts doing it again. She talks about her friend Dioneo, who is supposedly also innocent. Pampinea says that he is just bursting with lust. Later, Dioneo and his friend notice two girls beckoning to them. He asks his friend to ask them what they want. They offer them milk and bread. The boys follow the girls to the barn. There, the girls show them a cow and say that this is your milk. Philomena hears the boys and girls screaming from the barn. She enters and sees the boys rubbing against each other and the girls. That day, the nuns and Pompanea come to Lorenzo to give him water. But when Pompanea does so, she pours the water over his head and tells him to drown. Later, Father Tindaro decides to leave Philomena. He advises her that kissed lips do not lose their freshness and leaves on a pilgrimage. The next day, Pompanea comes to Lorenzo. She blindfolds him, kisses him, and tells him that she is dreaming about him. Later, Dioneo goes to the forest from Philomena. She finds him, kisses him lightly, and says that he will soon get what he wants from her. Then she kisses him again and again, but at some point Dioneo starts to twitch. They are met by bandits and taken prisoner. 
That evening, their leader comes to the girls and says that he will invite them to work. Alyssa says he is quite handsome and passionate. She proposes to solve this issue in a sly way and goes to the leader's room. She starts dancing for him. He comes back and says that it was boring. He wanted her to just dance for him. The girls decide to steal the key from the bandits and force them to take off their pants. A fight breaks out and the girls run away. The leader goes to meet them, but Bruno knocks him out. The next day, Pampinea tells her mother that she heard Lorenzo singing in the garden and that he has a very pleasant voice. She decides to leave the convent because she is jealous of Lorenzo. The nun approaches Lorenzo, who is sleeping, and tells him in his ear that a butcher has come to cut out his tongue. He jumps up and apologizes, but she throws him out of the monastery. That day, Count Zerzinski, having escaped from the men of Gerbino, comes to drink at the waterfall. He notices Elise swimming in the water. He is surprised and tries to understand if she is a witch. The Count officially introduces himself and says that if she is Pampanea, it will be a miracle because she is the most beautiful girl in the world. She comes out of the water and they kiss. Pampanea passes by the monastery and meets Lorenzo. She says she is going to her wedding and Lorenzo decides to go with her. At this moment, Tindaro approaches the monastery and says that the abbess of this monastery is a woman of incomparable lust and passion. He meets her in the monastery and says that he has come to serve and pray. She takes him to the steam room and offers to take care of business. Later, in a conversation with Pompinea, Lorenzo says that he is in love with the girl who kissed him and cannot forget her. While they are walking, Pompinea offers to refresh his memory, but Gerbino appears and attacks Lorenzo. Pompinea says that if he hurts him, she will never marry him. She offers the condition that she will marry him only if he lets Lorenzo go. Gerbino agrees and says that they will marry soon. At this moment, Tindaro comes to the castle. Pampanea asks him to stall for time until the wedding. At this time, Lorenzo goes with the guards to the forest. They tell him that Gerbino has ordered him to be killed, but they let him go. At first, Lorenzo believes them, but later he beats them both. He meets Count Zerzinski, who is also on his way to Pampai. At this time, Tindaro is stalling for time to make it to the wedding. He slowly pours wine into the glasses, tasting it. Gerbino threatens Tindaro and he says that the wedding has already taken place. At this moment, the Count appears and shoots at Gerbino. Lorenzo also arrives and takes Pampania away. The Count and Gerbino fight, but Lorenzo stops them. The Count says that if he kills Gerbino, he will be forced to kill Lorenzo. They toss a coin and Lorenzo wins. Gerbino is afraid to approach the well, but the Count pushes him. They fight and Lorenzo offers him a choice. If he jumps into the deep well, he can survive. Gerbino attacks Lorenzo and falls into the well. The Count praises Lorenzo and almost pushes him into the abyss. Pampanea arrives, and the Count asks for her hand in marriage. At this moment, Elisa, whom he loves the most, appears. Pampanea runs after Lorenzo and kisses him, and he remembers who kissed him in the monastery. The wedding takes place, and everyone kisses. Tindaro says he is going back to the monastery, where an angel is waiting for him. This is the end of the movie. That's all for today. Subscribe and like if you want more videos like this.